Welcome back. A pregnant woman's diet and other lifestyle factors may influence her baby's cardiovascular health. This is according to a new study by the American Heart Association. So what does a healthy diet look like if you're an expectant mother? And what lifestyle changes should new mothers make? Joining us to discuss all of this is Dr. Marvin Singh. Doctor, good morning. Hi, good morning. Thanks for having me. It all makes sense if you think about it. Whatever the mother does impacts the baby. So what did this study reveal? Yeah, this was an awesome study. Um, it's probably one of the first of its kind. It was published in the journal Hypertension and uh, just hit the news last week. And what it really suggests is that early life environment can actually influence how our genes can turn on or turn off. This is a process that's you know called um, DNA methylation. Basically, we have this sheath of proteins and chemicals that lie on top of our DNA, and they can turn the genes on or turn the genes off. And they found that there were several factors that uh, that influence the mother's health that can actually influence the baby's risk for cardiovascular disease later in life. What does a healthy diet look like for an expectant mother? Yeah, so this study uh, had a, f a few different points. One was if there was excessive weight gain during pregnancy, more than would be expected, um, or the pre-pregnancy BMI was higher than, uh, than would be considered in the normal range, or if the diet wasn't balanced with a lot of vegetables and fruits and uh, healthy plant foods, or if there was less amount of fish consumption, which is basically a reflection of how much omega-3s you're getting in the diet, um, uh, or if you were a smoker, these were things that actually negatively impacted um, the baby's risk. So, so these are some of the things that we should be aware of um, that, that can actually influence the baby's risk for cardiovascular disease as an adult. It's not just what you're putting into your body, though. I think also an important factor in pregnancy is how physically active the mother is if she's able to be physically active. Exercise is so important. Not just does it help when you're delivering the baby. I always was told, you know, if you are active, it'll help in the delivery process. So that was a motivator. But it also does impact the baby inside. For sure. I mean, uh, we know that uh, risk factors that the mother has can actually be transferred to the baby in a number of different ways. This is one way looking at diet, nutrition, and DNA. But we also know that the gut microbiome, which is all the microbes that live inside of our gut, um, we know that those play a large role in the baby's health as well. Um, so if the mother is exercising, reducing stress, eating a balanced diet, um, and doing all of those kind of things, then she may be able to have a better gut microbiome. And that microbiome is going to be transferred to the baby as well. So if there are good things happening in the mom's gut, then there may be good things happening in the baby's gut. So it all kind of comes together. And so much of uh, the human body for women changes once they become pregnant. Uh, things that didn't bother you before may start to bother you. Things that weren't an issue can become an issue. Talk about that because you really need to be in touch with your inner self. Yeah, you know, I always say the bot, your body is the best doctor. So it's always important to listen to your body and, and what's going on and adjust as you go along. Um, certainly hormone changes can uh, influence how you feel digestively um, and even affect how you feel mentally. So it's important to be tuned into that and to try to make modifications to your lifestyle or your environment that can help to counteract some of that stuff. Dr. Marvin Singh, thanks so much. Important information. Thanks for being with us this morning. Have a good one. You too.